If you open up your store in Bizman and in the bottom right section click yesterday, you'll see how many customers your store gets per hour. You might notice it's far less than the building's actual capacity. There's a few things you might be doing wrong that are affecting it and there's a few things out of your control that are also affecting it. In this video, we're going to look at everything that affects your customers per hour. Leave a like if you find this helpful. We'll start with something a lot of people don't know, sales furniture also has a customer capacity. In this top right section, the customers per hour needs to reach the building capacity. For example, in this clothing store, I had one clothing rack per product. One rack can only support 10 customers as shown, meaning my store will not get more than 10 customers per hour. Don't ask me why a clothing rack can dictate how many people can enter the store, that's just how it is. Anyway, I fixed this issue by adding four racks per product. This meant that the clothing products could now handle 40 customers, but I forgot that I was also selling gifts. Everything you sell in your store affects the capacity. So since the rounded shelves could handle 15 people, I added three each for cheap and expensive gifts. I also added another set of baskets as they can only handle 30 customers each. Make sure you scroll through everything in this section so you don't miss anything. Once I sorted the baskets and sales furniture, my capacity per hour reached 40. Customers started flooding in. It felt like the store suddenly came alive. I started thinking about all the expensive property I was going to buy now that my CPH has gone from 10 to 40. My income should quadruple, right? Well, I slept to see my money roll in and my income actually decreased. I checked my CPH and it rose from 10 to 11 increased by one so that's why my income was hardly affected 11 cph was my weekly average it did hit a peak of 17 on the weekends as they are always more busier but it's still very low if you want to check your own cph peak saturdays are the most busiest days so check on our sunday and click yesterday to try and increase it i tried adding more product variety in the store i added expensive flowers to see if it attracts more customers but it didn't have any effect what does have a direct effect on your CPH is marketing. You don't actually need to be running all six campaigns like I previously thought. Well, you might depending on your business. Every business is different and requires a unique combination of campaigns to reach 100% promotion. Remember, it's not the marketing you're trying to max out, it's the promotion. If your building has a good traffic index, then you won't need as many marketing campaigns. I try to avoid the large billboard campaign as much as possible as it's just too expensive. So try to play around with the other campaigns first and see if you can hit 100% promotion. I tested the effects of marketing by completely removing it and my CPH went down to 9. The effects of marketing on CPH will be different depending on the business type and size. The last factor I currently know of that affects CPH is the building itself. Your traffic's index and building's capacity are important. The CPH limit directly scales with the building. This data gathered by Deacon, a member in the official Discord, gives us some interesting insights. All their clothing stores with a capacity of 75 people have a peak of 60 customers per hour on Saturday. If any of you have built a clothing store with a higher CPH than 60, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, it's safe to assume clothing businesses cannot go higher than 60 customers per hour. Now 60 is 80% of 75. However, my store of 40 capacity and 39 traffic doesn't get 80% as customers. It gets 17 people, which is around 40%. So it's not a fixed percentage, it changes. There's a lot of hidden variables that we don't know about, but it looks as though the CPH limit scales with the building. The bigger your capacity, the higher the percentage. What's also interesting is that the competition seems to have barely any effect on CPH for clothing stores. When Deacon had one store, the peak CPH was 60. When he had three clothing stores in the same district, the CPH barely changed. The total amount of profit got affected as demand reduced due to there being multiple stores. Now what's bizarre is that Deacon did the same test with a law business. His peak with one store was 34 CPH and it reduced to 24 once he opened another law office in the same area. That's a big change compared to the clothing business which barely had any effect on CPH. These inconsistencies make it very difficult to figure out what's going on. I tested this out myself. I built another clothing store in the same district with a 75 capacity building. As I was creating the store, two AI competitors opened up in the same area but it did not affect my original store's CPH. And after my new mega clothing store was opened, it also didn't affect my original's CPH. In fact, my mega store was enjoying a nice stream of 60 customers per hour on Saturdays, just like predicted. My original store's profit went down by 10k, but my new store's profit is over 200k, so it was well worth opening it. 
Having two clothing stores in the same district is a good idea, but three stores start to affect the profit a little too much. There seems to be no way of increasing the CPH limit of the building. If you have adequate sales appliances and promotion maxed out, your only option is to buy a bigger building. I definitely think there should be some kind of way to increase it. Hopefully it gets added in the future. I'd love to hear about your experiences and ideas regarding CPH. Let me know about them in the comments below. But that's everything for now. I'll see you in the next video.